This video demonstrates transfemoral superior mesenteric artery stenting in an 86-year-old female who presented with acute on chronic mesenteric ischemia. CTA of the abdomen and pelvis done showed highly diseased celiac SMA and inferior mesenteric artery as demonstrated on the axial view of this CT scan. She was also found to have a replaced right hepatic artery coming off the superior mesenteric artery and a highly stenotic celiac artery as visualized on these sagittal images of the CTA. Also demonstrated here is the severely stenotic origin of the superior mesenteric artery. We begin by accessing the left common femoral artery under ultrasound guidance. This was done with a mini state needle followed by the wire and micropuncture sheath. The wire was advanced into the inferior abdominal aorta. This was followed by placement of a Benson wire into the descending thoracic aorta. We then upsized to a 5 French sheath. A contracatheter was then introduced into the abdominal aorta. We exchanged for a Rosen wire over this catheter. This Rosen wire was used to introduce our aptus steerable to our guide sheath. The sheath was used to better cannulate the superior mesenteric artery. Once this sheath was introduced, we introduced contracatheter again and performed our mesenteric angiograms in anterior, posterior and lateral views. This lateral view projection demonstrated a high-grade stenosis of the origin of SMA and diffusely diseased superior mesenteric artery. Our decision to revascularize SMA was to improve inflow and help with the symptoms of mesenteric ischemia. We then used this durable sheet to engage the orifice of the superior mesenteric artery as demonstrated here. Once the orifice of the SMA was engaged, a repeat angiogram was then performed. A soft angle glide wire was then used to cross this lesion. Once this wire was advanced distally into the superior mesenteric artery, a quick cross catheter was advanced over it. This catheter was advanced over the soft angle glide wire so that it can be used to exchange for a Rosen wire. An angiogram then confirmed position of this catheter in the SMA. Demonstrated here is the introduction of the Rosen wire over this catheter. This would allow for better tracking of the balloon and stent delivery system. We then brought in a 4 millimeter balloon. This was used to predilate the artificial stenosis of the SMA. This balloon was advanced into the SMA and gently pulled back. The sheath was partially withdrawn and the balloon was placed across the stenotic lesion at the origin of the SMA as demonstrated here. This balloon was then inflated and this lesion was then predilated. Once predilatation was performed, we performed a repeat angiogram that showed improvement in flow through the superior mesenteric artery. This was followed by introduction of a 6 by 17 millimeter balloon expendable uncovered stent. The choice to use an uncovered stent was based on the fact not to cover the replaced right hepatic artery coming off from the superior mesenteric artery. This balloon expendable uncovered stent was then placed across this disease segment of the superior mesenteric artery projecting slightly into the aortic lumen. Our standard practice is to advance the sheath over the disease segment of the superior mesenteric artery and then advance the stent through the sheath and pull the sheath back. However, this was not performed in this case. We repeated our angiogram to confirm the positioning of the stent. Once this angiogram was performed, this balloon expendable stent was then deployed as demonstrated here. This was followed by post dilatation with a balloon and flaring of the stent. A completion angiogram was then performed that showed breast flow through the superior mesenteric artery as well as replaced right hepatic artery. This concludes our video demonstration on superior mesenteric artery stenting using a transfemoral approach in a patient with 
acute on chronic mesenteric ischemia.